this is Orchid and I'm here to, to show you the wig that I created. This was from the Indian Remy Afro Jerry 14 inch wig. I use approximately a pack and a half. I attempted to do an invisible part which is, is not perfect. I have four wig clips along the, the part because I made my part a bit too big so it was bucking up so I had to use two extra ones down closer to the back but yeah this is the texture of the hair I made this wig about two to three days ago and so far still so good I have not worn it out I've just I activated the curl and I left it just observe it I used a mesh cap and a wig cap because I hate wearing wig caps under my wigs. I, I absolutely hate it. So I just said, hey, why don't just build it in one time? So I, I put on the wig cap and then I put the mesh cap over. I glued the tracks on and then I sewed, I sewed them on afterwards just for added, added strength, added stability. Now, this is the hair. This is my part horrible but you know I am a beginner I've never done anything to do with weaves so I'd say for a person it's pretty decent not too sure what I'll do with this if I'll just leave some out and along the the parts just to cover that over or not um I left out a bit of my baby hair to cover the edge of the wig cap on both sides but in general I'll probably keep it like this um for me I find it's a bit too big even for the pack and a half that I used because my face is so small it is still a bit too big for my face I may trim it at the bottom also because I wanted it long but I'm, I'm not so sure if I want it this long but otherwise I am loving the texture that's why I came outside to film this part because I wanted you guys to see the curls it just looks so realistic to me I know my family will get a big surprise because they, they saw me this morning with very well it's short hair and then all of a sudden it's seen with huge voluminous hair that, that, that will be a shock for them anyhow thank you for watching and I will now show you the process the steps I went through to make this wig I won't show you step by step it's not a tutorial because I I can't do a tutorial but I'll just show you clips of the stages that I, I went through yeah and that's it so i i hope you enjoy it uh, apart from the beginning got deleted <laughs> unfortunately just me being tired and stressed up. but anyway yes i i deleted the beginning clip so that's why it starts with me already having it you know already sticking on the hair to the wig cap unfortunately but say what i will do a review um in about two or three weeks because i I did this hair because I was going to Barbados for Christmas and I did not want to do my hair. I I will be at home studying most of the time but the few times I'll have to go out I didn't want to do my hair. I just wanted a change. So that's why I did this. So after my Barbados trip I will get back to you in the new year and tell you how this hair did. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye bye. Right. So this is how far I have gotten. Um, I have not even used a full pack as yet. I still have this much left for one pack. Um, I did not make it too thick because I don't like thick hair. So this is how long it is so far. When I put it back into one, this is what I'm getting. So what I did, I intend to sew it in because I may do some swimming, etc. What I did, I stuck it in with some glue. I intend to sew it afterwards but I just wanted to use it as a guide and plus I've heard that glue will at least seal in the wefts a little bit more so I've just stuck them in and then what I'll do I will once it is all finished to my liking I will unpin I use some normal straight pins just to as a guide and to cement the ends of the west and then 
I will sew it in afterwards. So this is how far I've gotten. And I am not 100% sure what I'll do. I wanted to do an invisible part because I didn't want to leave any of my hair out. But I want the option to leave some of my hair out. So I'm not 100% sure if I'll do just a U part wig or an invisible part. It looks like I'll probably use at most a pack and a half. I won't use the whole two packs and that's fine with me. I don't like big hair. I, my face is really too fine to take on big hair. I like realistic looking hair. And so I chose a 14 inch. 14 inches because I'm quite tall, I'm six feet tall. So 14 inches on a five foot two girl and 14 inches on a six foot girl would look quite different. So I figured this should be realistic enough for me. And you, I will be back when I decide what I'm going to do and put it in. Hi, I decided to do an uh, invisible part. So this is the first half of my invisible part. So what I did, I drew a black line down the middle and then I cut the tracks in half and I lay them one on top of the other on top of the other. Um, I don't think I need to, should be this neat because it's a curly hair wig. It's straight now so you can kind of see but when I activate the curls you should, this should be decent, this should be okay enough. And I guess uh, this is where I'll stop. This is about three and a half inches which I think is good enough for a part. It's not too short but it's not too long and plus I run out of patience. I was gonna do it all the way to here but eh, forget that, right? So I'll do the other side and then I'll do the closure which I still am a bit ugh, about but yeah. I'll do the closure and then I'll come back to you. And this is the wig finished. Oh. It's so strange, the actual creating of the up to the U part took what, an hour? And the invisible part alone took another hour, but oof, I'm finished. My closure is not perfect and I don't have a flat iron at this point in time. Long, long story. But yeah, so I'll have to borrow one from a friend because I I don't have any intention of using one, so I don't see the point of buying one. But yeah, as I am, as I said, I'm six feet tall, nobody's seeing the top of my head at all. Number two, when it curls up, I the bulk, it should hide most of everything. Did you see that red, that red string? For some reason, the weave came with that, and I saw another blue one somewhere further down. I, I put that one out, but I think I'll keep that. That looks kind of cool. It's red. And you know, it's late as I said, I will let it sit, let it cure, let the glue, the glue cure because there's no way in hell I'm sewing this on tonight. And then I will test the integrity tomorrow and I will wet it and see how it curls up. I used a pack and a half, this is what I have left over. Um, as I said, I'll see t tomorrow whether it's thick enough in the back and I will fill in some gaps. I'm so excited to see how this will turn out. Cross fingers. Cross fingers now. Bye bye. Hi all. This is next day. I just wet the wig with a mixture of water and Tresemme Naturals conditioner. Um, yeah, I had some leftover so I just decided to do that and it has curled up beautifully. Now it's just a way to see how it dries. I am in love with this curl pattern. It's probably more of a three C? Three B C. I was hoping more for four A maybe because my hair is nowhere near to three B C but you'll see I'll make it work. Here is an example of the curl pattern. Frizzing this is not an issue for me because I don't have perfect curls. It's about whether it can blend with my hair 
or not. The front of my hair is probably like a 3, sorry, like a 4A. So I was kind of hoping from closer to a 4A. I will get back to you about that. Bye bye. Hey, this is the wig perfectly dry. Ah, excuse my face and the ridiculously big bit on my forehead. I cannot keep my hands out of this hair because it's so soft. And it's definitely more of a folk tree see at this point in time. This is it perfectly dry. It does frizzle a bit because this is just conditioner. If you have any tips as to what I can do with this, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot and see you later. Bye bye.